Guys, guys. Guys, I can't talk. Hold on. I think G Fuel is out to get me. But the people must know Keemstar, the lovable 40 year old himself, is not real. He is a puppet controlled by G Fuel to sell more G Fuel. You can see in the way he looks at you that he is not real. He's actually a spectral being, meaning a ghost that is controlled by G Fuel. To survive, he must feast on as much popcorn as possible or he will die. Keemstar does not have normal reactions like you or me. He laughs at people who, who did know Ron. How could he do that? Alright, guys. The G Fuel gods have to go to the bathroom sometimes, right? That's what I like to call the interview episodes, and when they do, Keemstar goes on autopilot, a soulless vessel, if you will. This is where you can see the true Keemstar, the dead body he is, as he just stares into the camera, into your soul. I feel like he's trying to steal my soul right now for his own. But how did this happen, you ask? Well, here's my theory. Keemstar did not start out this way. He actually died and went to the underworld for his awful deeds. Then he begged with the devil to bring him back to earth at all costs, so the devil did, but with no soul and controlled by one of the devil's Shadow Realm cults. Yes, that's right, G Fuel. G Fuel puppets, Keemstar, and Drama Alert is just a trap created by G Fuel to sell more G Fuel. All I can hear from Keemstar is white noise, and the G Fuel from the corner of the screen saying, Eat me, eat me, Santi. <laughs> Those words haunt me at night. <laughs> Keemstar has no life, no kids like he says, he just lives in the drama alert studio. When the lights go off, he does too. Another reason that explains this theory is his almost godlike speed. Scientists say that 1% of 40 year olds are as fast as Keemstar. This is because of the G Fuel gods giving him this speed, and I can only guess what other powers Keemstar has. This is getting out of hand, we need to take down G Fuel and release Keemstar from his mortal torment that he must be going through, and send him back to the underworld where he belongs. Otherwise G Fuel will take over the world and we will all be soulless like Keemstar, a body drifting without a purpose doomed to eat as much popcorn as possible. Scientists also say that Keemstar can consume up to 50 times his body weight in popcorn a day. So how do we stop this, you now ask? Well, here's what I think we need to do. We need to send as much popcorn as possible to the G Fuel gods with a letter saying, we know. Only then will they release Keemstar from his zombie-like state, sending him back to the shadow realm where he belongs. Then the G Fuel gods will stop their whole plan and go back into the shadows where they belong. Who knows who else the G Fuel gods have affected. It could be someone in your own town. They could have their soul taken by G Fuel. I send out an urgent service announcement. G Fuel is taking over more and more of our minds, and if we don't stop them now, they'll take over the world. We must rise up when the G Fuel zombie apocalypse hits. We must blow up all the popcorn factories with that the G Fuel zombies will run out of popcorn and die. Scientists say that by the end of 2019, half the population will be G Fuel zombies like Keemstar. <laughs> now that you know the truth, you must go and save the world. It's too late for me. They found out my location. I'll be the second G Fuel zombie test run. I can hear them right now. Goodbye, everyone. Save the world! Hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget, I hate popcorn zombies, I hate G Fuel, and I hate you. Good night, I'm Santi Globius.